Ryan Ed here, and today we're filming another part one million of this pinball machine. Hopefully without Lunchbox screaming at me from the bathroom, because you can't hear what I'm saying when I'm trying to film an intro. Um, yeah, today we're going to take this rat's nest mess here and label it with some fancy label maker. Because it's been a few days and I already forgot what the hell each one of them did. Um, and go from there. I did move these around because I had them backwards. So your flippers are down here and your bumpers are here. So I had them the opposite way, but anyway. So let's start hooking stuff up. I think I'm going to start with the back box. I'm going to run all the high power wires on this side and the low power on this side. Keep them separate. I don't know if it's necessary, but that's what we're going to do. So let's get started. All right. Well, here is the mess result of most of the day's work. So I labeled these various things. So this is just my six back box wires that go up into the back box. And it's important to leave yourself enough slack here in case you bend it over. I may have underestimated, but that's okay. But I got a block here for 12 volt and a block here for 24 volt. All that's, this is pushing in the back box is the knocker and the bell. The rest of them are 12 volts. So what we got here is our flasher for this side. We got a, what the hell is this? This is our fan. This goes to our beacon on back over here. So once these are connected, I will get that out of the way so it doesn't get on my bell here. So the flashers and the beacons are daisy chained. I think I did that. Yeah, over here you can see there's two black wires going into that one and two going into that one. So once those are hooked up, it'll get out of the way. It'll look a little bit better. So we got kind of a mess going, but we'll get that all cleaned up. And I think that's everything wire-wise, except for the, obviously the monitor stuff and then the converter here for this, which hopefully I can just put here. I may have to move this around, I don't know. But we do need to run wires up to our power blocks here. And other than that, back box wiring should be done, which is awesome because it's, then we can start working in here on the rest of this mess. So out of all the stuff we hooked up the other day, that was six wires. So onwards and upwards. All right, no laughing at my soldering job, but I got all these hooked up, wired to a connector here. Got to make a place to mount them and do that. I need a drill bit and I've officially run out of wire. So let's go see how far I got. All right, well that big pile back there is the reason I ran out of wire. That is the RGB flashers going all the way from the front up here to the top of the back box. And I got about halfway through before I ran out. But as you can see from this giant mess, wired chimes, contactors, buttons. I still have to do the RGB buttons for the flippers there. But the lighted ones are set. Those buttons are wired. I got some wiring here for buttons I'm going to put in the coin door. These ones are done. So the only thing that we lack as far as wiring is the RGB flashers, which is what that is. And no, that was the RGB buttons. No, that's the buttons. I'm so confused. This, this harness here and then the flashers. And then we should be pretty well set. Then we got to do the, the RGB on the bottom and the addressable LEDs and sound. And I think that's about it. I got to 3D print a few more parts to mount my strobes and fans up top there. They will be going right here. And then the flashers will be along the bottom here. So we got to 3D print a few more things. 
come over here into my mess. I made these little parts to go over it. There's a little display and these to go under and hold up the thing. The LED, these fit. These are, this one was the first iteration. It's a little too small. Thought I fixed it and I printed a bunch, but they're too big. So I gotta make one kind of in the middle. So when all those parts come in and my drill bits to drill this and the holes up there, we'll be sitting pretty. So, and I got some stuff here. I have no idea what I did with. Here they are. It's little tracks to hold the, the LED strips. It goes in here, keep them straight and flat. So I got to print some more of these. They're up there printing right now. I, think I took it off the bed too early, which is why that one's a little warped. And I got to print a bunch to hold the ones around the bottom so it doesn't look all wonky. And we're moving along. I gotta figure out how to get some glass and cover up all these holes and put my stuff back there for my other LEDs. Oh, and I gotta wipe the fans. I forgot about that. Oh, God, it's just a lot. <laughs> anyway, let me know how bad I screwed this up, and we'll see you in a little bit when we get the rest of the parts in. Thanks for watching.